Hi, how's it going today? It's Thomas Steed here. Just wanted to do a uh, video right quick with you guys and talk about the elephant in the room. This right here. This would be the, what's marketed as obviously the 14 inch S-Wing. Uh, Sportsman's Axe, I believe, is the, uh, the name on this one. They've got several different variety, Camping Axe, Sportsman's Axe, Fireman's Friend, there's a lot of different varieties. If you've never seen Estwing before, you, you must be living underneath of a rock. Um, with things to say about Estwing. But before I get too far into it, like, share, subscribe, comment in the comment section. Um, I enjoy communicating with all y'all out there on the interwebs, and uh, today's no different than any other. Uh, yeah, without further ado... Uh, Oh yeah, there's a donation link in the comment section down there for Streamlabs if you feel so generous. In any event, I, I honestly believe where they actually get the uh, the 14 from on this is from... Uh, see if I, can, if I can get this on camera very smoothly is like this. From tip to tail, it technically would be 14 inches. Uh, but most everyone else calls a spade a spade and says that, you know, from here, from the shaft down, it's 13. But they market it as the 14. And technically, if you do measure it in one dimension across this, you do hit 14 inches. So technically, technically, it's there. In any event, um, what can we say about S-Wing? If you're not familiar with S-Wing, I don't know if you've lived under a rock or something. Um, you might not have ever worked on a job site, any real construction site. They're, they're pretty prevalent. They make a hammer. It's so common that I was actually looking around to see if I have one within arm's reach. It's the, you know, anti-shock blue vibration handle, um, basically the same thing as this, except it's uh, blue rubber instead of the stacked leather. This is the, in my opinion, the premium. This is their old school tried and true method of handle. Uh, this is back before they came up with their anti-vibration rubber handle. And, you know, I just, I really like leather and these really develop a lot of character. They're they're fantastic axe, uh, hatchet, axe, cam, axe, hip axe, whatever, you know, fireman's friend, bug out tool. In general, it's a really, really quality utility hatchet for the price. Um, you know, obviously there are brands out there that make really high-end axes, really high quality and really expensive axes same thing as this maybe even bigger there's some axes um you know like the uh grand ford forts brooks uh i know there's uh holtz brooks there's several of those manufacturers over there in uh, sweden um huskvarna might even be over there i don't know there's people out there that are dedicated axe channels that can really go a lot further into all of this than, you know, I'm going to here. But there's not been a lot of talk out here about this guy. And the reason I bring this up is, is you can beat this up. I mean, it, it's got the extra weight. It's full tang. I've never seen one of these get busted. And the last thing you want to deal with out when you're busting at the brush is breaking your handle on your, you know, utility axe, hatchet, tomahawk, whatever you want to call it. Your, your, uh, your swingy knifey thingy. Very technical term there. And then what I'm getting at here is, is, the thing's built like a tank. It may not be the greatest still out there. It's a little bit softer than a lot of people prefer, but the beauty of that is, is that it it's not brittle. 
It's not a brittle steel at all. I have the only time I've ever seen est wing steel rupture is on a job site where some guy thought he was a real genius and took two hammers and literally smacked them together head to head and that that did rupture but i mean that's kind of that has to do with physics you take two hammers the same weight same density same all of that equal opposite reaction yeah it it would make sense that with enough force it could cause those to to you know have an have an issue and I'm rambling, and I'm not trying to ramble here, so let's get back to it. So the biggest thing with this is they are not super, super, super refined when you when you get them. Like, it's got an edge. It's a good edge. It'll split your tinder. It'll do stuff, but you, I wouldn't want to carve a bowl with it. Um, the pummel, I guess no, maybe it's not the pummel yet. I can't remember what, exactly what the technical term of the hilt cap might be. The, it might be pummel. But um, this is usually, it's a stamped out piece. And mine had a really gnarly burr on there. So take a file to, to the bottom of this, I'd say, is your number one thing. And that's just to prevent you from having, you know, any kind of a laceration uh, while doing doing the deed with it uh another thing that some people will complain about on these is that it is it it is it's super thin because of you know where this you know full tang shaft is and they take a lot of meat out of there um just like anybody else that you see put paracord or whatever around here you can you can put something right in this area to build that up as long as you're really not pushing it too far past the sides of you know your cheeks you don't have a lot of room to build up without it you know potentially getting damaged while you're working through material um really bad but you could you could potentially build up a little bit of something right here to give you a little bit of something to to grab onto right here when you're working detailed work inside of here because um, I, I did sharpen it last night and I'll tell you what um, I can shave my chest hair with this thing uh, so I, I, I definitely put an edge on it it'll take an edge um, how long will it hold the edge it's, I'm probably not the longest holding obviously it's not the strongest still, but you can, it, it takes the edge quick and it's workable. It gets sharp. Dollar for dollar, you, you can't go, go wrong. You know, I've seen in one video where, you know, the man himself, you know, Cody, uh, Wrangler star, you know, he said he has, a, he's got a fondness for Estwing and so do I, and so should you, because, they're a fantastic product for a fantastic industry, whatever industry that you're working at, be it your roofer, a framer, a anything. You work outdoors. You don't even really work outdoors. You just need something that's going to last you and it's not going to fail in your entire lifetime. This That's what this is, okay? It's not fancy. It's not hundreds of dollars. It's not super well refined but it'll get the job done and it's going to last you. And that's dollar for dollar, right? That's what I am going to going to say. So <clears throat> when it comes to like my axes and stuff, I'll, I'll probably have this one as my, my side axe. I'll probably get a, uh, one of those cold still axes as my primary, you know, chopper, um, for failing, uh, as well as a double bit. I'd say I'll probably get a double bit just so that I've got something that's a dual purpose chopper splitter and then uh, some wedges. R realistically, I mean, I'll have enough stuff that'll have a hammer on it that it'll be fine. And this, 
this bad boy. That's one thing that we can talk about on the benefits of this full tank before we hit that 10 minute mark right now is it's full tank. So you can baton the crap out of this. You get this head into something you want to beat up right here. This isn't wood. You're not going to bust it. Um, so it definitely lends itself well in the process of splitting. It's not, it's not magic. It ain't going to, it ain't going to be the easiest task busting through, but I mean, I'm I, at no point should I be chasing logs that are any bigger than 12 inches around. And if I can't work my way through a 12 inch round with this and another log to beat it with, I, then I, I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong. So anyways, thank you very much for your time. Like, share, subscribe, comment in the comment sections. Y'all have a good one.